right lines. But somehow we are not able to showcase it and talk about it so well. Whereas every hospital in the West will definitely tell you that you know we are the best because we follow the SCCHA guidelines of adhering to that within 90 minutes we save lives. So I think it's about showcasing ourselves a little better and that's something which our indicators should be helping us to do. Currently we are just focusing on getting the indicators well established across the country and NABH is, well, it's just a decade young, so we have a lot to go and many miles to go. Thank you, Parag. Now, what we really want to focus on and we really want to highlight is the quality indicators. And these are benchmarks that we should aim for in terms of hospitals getting these recognition at JCI or NABH. And that's the important parameter because that will be what will be assessed when the medical tourists come to our, our country for this kind of care. And across all metros, if you look at it in Mumbai, if you look at it in Chennai, uh, Hyderabad, Delhi, you know, most of these centers are really having these accreditations. Let's uh, uh, shift gears to the cardiothoracic surgeon. Could you tell us in terms of uh, what we in India can offer to say somebody from uh, from the West, uh, as opposed to say, we, most of our medical tourists now come from the Far East, uh, I mean from the Middle East, from Africa, these are, and the South countries. These are our main uh, drainage areas. Now, if you really want people from other parts of the world to really come in, what are we highlighting in terms of cardiovascular surgery? Uh, that's a very good question actually. In fact, I wanted to speak about it. You know, the biggest problem that we have is, you know, we do a lot of good work, but most of us are not even aware of the good work that we do. So I felt this is a very good platform. And we've seen some eminent panelists speak before us and a very knowledgeable audience here. So I think, you know, I made it a point to jot a few points down so that I don't miss <coughs> on them. And I want you all to go through it and just listen to it. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak here. Uh, in terms of cardiovascular thoracic surgery, I want to touch upon three points. One is bypass surgeries, second is robotic surgeries, and third is transplants. All three of them are very important in the health sector and we have done an amazing job so far. Let me just tell you, for example, as ma'am had put up this presentation which showed that in USA, a routine cardiovascular thoracic or CAVG cost about 130,000.